What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, aka The Motivational, aka First Day Gamer. Just realized that my mic was off <laughs> when I was recording the video. Uh, but listen guys, um, I was right uh, on the prediction when we talked about the Hall of Heroes. It turns out it's going to be dusky. Uh, so I wanted to take a little bit of time, this time, now that you can actually hear me and talk about what exactly you can do with this particular unit. Um, in the case, of course, that you decide to get him. Um, so his passive here is Knight's Comfort. If the turn ends without attacking an enemy, a shield that is proportionate to your level that lasts for three turns is generated. While having the shield, all damage you deal is increased by 50%. So let me show you what that looks like here. We're going to use the skill too. So he buffs. Click him. Boop. Okay, so increase the attack speed, and now he has a shield. Okay, now basically what this is is... Um, how this works essentially is as long as the shield is up um you basically deal 50 percent increased damage now this could be effective especially if you don't plan on this particular unit taking any damage per se um most shields that scale with the enemy's level um from my experience have capped out at about 4,000 hp so it's basically like giving them a little bit extra hp and some more survivability when dealing with him in the dungeon now, with a 50% increased damage, this could be effective, um, especially depending on how you build him, meaning he could put up some big numbers because of the 50% passive damage bonus. Now, being that he only has two skills, skill one and skill two, and this skill with the four-turn cooldown, um, you know, at base with no skill ups, um, he could spend a lot of time um, under this effect, especially if he's not taking damage now if he takes enough damage and the shield is nullified then he's basically reduced to a simple attack unit his first skill attacks the enemy three times each attack has a chance uh, to deal 30 excuse me has a 30 percent chance to decrease the enemy's attack speed for two turns and this damage will deal more damage according to his attack speed it lets you know right out of the gate that you're probably going to want to have a speed on slot two maybe crit damage in slot four and attack percent in slot six to ensure that he deals as much damage as possible his second skill, buffing the attack speed and critical rate of all allies for two turns, effectively increases the damage output of your team and effectiveness, giving them more turns because it increases the rate at which the attack bar fills up. Overall, this unit, I'd imagine, could be useful in Necro, but I don't really see it being as effective in other locations like Giants or Dragons where your team is consistently under AoE pressure and con continuously taking damage all of the time. Now, in niche situations where you can position him correctly to where you know he's going to be able to maximize on his shield and his damage, um, then this unit could be effective in dealing some significant damage. However, however... This, these situations are going to be few and far between. Would I recommend people using this unit essentially in like a Giants or Dragons comp? Probably not. Could he be really effective in ne Necro? Absolutely. But this is going to be one of those units that you're probably going to use to skill up your chilling and just save one just in case something changes or something comes out where this unit hits for like a million damage and nobody knew about it. And oh, he's so crazy. He's insane. Chances of that happening pretty slim to none, but just in case, grab one to put in your storage at the very least, and the rest of them you could probably feed to your chilling and be safe and not have to worry about it. Ideal rune builds for this unit include probably a Vile Revenge, just so you can capitalize on the tax speed reduction in the multi-hit if you guys are running for Necro, Violent Fight, Violent whatever, um, Fatal to start if you guys are getting this unit as a beginning unit just because you like it or whatever, um, and then eventually you could probably transition into supplementing him with some fight runes to give your teams some increased attack power coupled with the attack speed and critical rate of all allies all in all i'd rate this unit maybe a four or five out of ten just for over just in overall terms of utility could he probably put up some numbers with his shield and add some survivability yes but are there more viable units specifically chilling uh, that could be a lot more effective than him absolutely but with that being said guys let me know what you guys think about this unit in the comment box below and i'll be happy to discuss this unit with you guys and with that being said love you guys you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys in